Hello, my name is Tim Eck, and I'm making this video today to show you how easy it is to make your own minerals at home. I start off making my own colloidal silver, gold, copper. And I say, what about what if uh, I made platinum? And what if I made rhodium? What if what if? Here I am. I got over 100 different colloidals or 200 different products right now. So I figured I'd make a kit, make it easier, make a video to show you how easy it is to make this at home. It really is. It just takes a few minutes to set up and you can make your own minerals, gallons and gallons of minerals, just for really almost next to nothing. So, I put together this kit with all this stuff in here. All you really need to do is buy water, just still water to add to it. What's in this kit? I've got a uh, quart size mason jar. I've got a 12 volt, 1 amp power adapter. And I put uh, negative and positive alligator clips on the ends of it. That's all I need to modify that. Got a couple clothes pins. Some coffee filters. A funnel. And of course I've got a one ounce silver coin. 999 pure. And a one ounce copper coin. 999 pure. So... All you have to do is take the, uh, your pure metals first, and you want to hook them up to the power adapter. You want to make sure you put the metal that you're wanting to make on the positive side, because DC is direct current and only goes in one direction, from positive to negative. So that's why the positive is what breaks off into the water and the nanoparticles. So, you're putting the copper on the positive side, I'm putting the silver on the cup on the negative side, so we'll be making copper. If I did the exact opposite, if I put silver on the positive and copper on the negative, we we'll make it silver. Now that I got both of those on their alligator clips, I'm going to clip them onto the side of the jet of uh, the jar here, just kind of hanging down from the top, up right here. And then I'm going to put the uh, other piece right next to it, but about maybe an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch away, about the same height down. You don't want it too far or else it won't work, or too close and it won't get a spark in there. So about an eighth of an inch, quarter of an inch apart from the other one. And you'll find you can play with that, that area there. So Then you want to add the water. This is just distilled water. I like start with distilled because you know there's nothing in it. There's nothing to to pollute the water. You want to pour it to where you get both the coins in the water but none of the alligator clips because if the alligator clips gets into the water then it will pollute the water with that metal. So, you might need to make some micro adjustments but I did it to where I've got both the coins in the water. They're real close to each other but they're not touching and the alligator clips aren't in there. So now I know it's ready to go. So I just plug in the power adapter. That's it. Now I can just let this sit for a couple hours. Um, I should have about 5 ppm. A little bit longer than that, 4 hours. Uh, I'll have around 10 ppm. If the, the color of the water starts to start changing, um, you know you're starting to get some larger particles, so go ahead and stop it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, I've got uh, some copper that I was making here last night. You can see when it's done. Uh, it's kind of a little cloudy there. You might, might see a little bluish color. So, uh, what I like to do is let it sit when it's done. And that way the bigger particles will kind of fall to the bottom. And then I'll just take a, uh, another jar or a glass or whatever you got around and filter it into that one. That way you just get rid of those large particles. You just want all the smallest ones anyway. So let's take the coffee filter on the funnel and pour the uh, water in here and you're filtering out all the large particles you'll see that it's a uh, much clearer when it comes through here and you can see it'll be like a bluish color on the uh, coffee ground because you're, you're catching those large particles there and then that's uh, ready to go after that um, that's really all there is to it um, I'm putting together some kits right now uh, that comes with all this right here for uh, under 50 bucks with shipping and also a deluxe kit that will come with 
parts per million ppm meter so that way if you're wanting to test it and whatnot see what level it is and also a uh, piece of uh, gold wire to be in the deluxe kit so you can make three metals and uh, this will be going for under 100 bucks you get all this make gold copper and silver mm -hmm. for under a hundred dollars uh, and you can make gallons and gallons and gallons of it uh, the gold wire will last I'm, I'm sure at least a few gallons the silver and copper will last I've been using the same coins for three years and I've been making them for myself and family and other people too now commercially for, for over a year so for a couple years actually I started beginning last year so so you can make a lot. Uh, just simple, this simple setup can make you for years worth of copper, silver, and, and gold minerals. Then you can add to add to it whatever else you want. You can uh, get a, a rhodium, piece of rhodium, pure rhodium online. Make sure you put that on the positive side. You've got rhodium. Uh, it's just that simple. So uh, I believe that's all for now. Uh, thank you for watching.